Hey everyone, and thank you for joining us here at InfoGamer. My name's Nathan, and today we're going to be talking about Unity 3D. Now, in previous videos, we've been showing you how to create games using the Unity 3D engine. But in this video, we wanted to take a step back from the projects that we've been working on and give you a little rundown and tutorial on how to use Unity 3D, just in case you're new to Unity and you're new to game developing. So for this lesson, we're going to be talking about our scene view and more specifically how to navigate through our scene view. Now the scene view is very important. It's this main window that I have open here. And you can think of it as a 3D environment. This is where you're going to be building the main portion of your game, whether it's adding images or models or even particle effects. The scene view is the world that players will see when they're playing your game. And so because it's a 3D environment, it's very vast and big. So we need ways that we can maneuver or navigate in our scene view so that we can get from one position of our scene to another position. So there's three tools that Unity has built in to make it easier for us to navigate through our scene. The first tool is called the Move tool and you can access this by pressing Q on your keyboard and you can see that our cursor has now turned into a hand and if you left click with your mouse you can move the scene view in left, right, up and down directions. But if you currently have another tool selected, say your rotation tool, you can also access the move tool by clicking in the wheel of your mouse and then moving your mouse in any direction. The second tool for navigating through your scene view is called the orbit tool. And there's two versions of this tool. The first is accessed by holding alt at any time and then left clicking with your mouse. This will orbit your scene view around a specific point. Now if your scene view is focused on a specific object, say this cube, and you use the orbit tool, it will orbit around that focused object. The second version of the orbit tool is accessed by right clicking on your mouse at any time. Rather than orbiting around a specific object or point in your scene view, this will rotate your camera instead. The last of these three tools is the zoom tool, which is self-explanatory. This is accessed by scrolling out or scrolling in with the wheel of your mouse. Now just in case you didn't catch the names of these tools, that's the Move tool, the Orbit tool, and the Zoom tool. There's one more method that is very useful for navigating through your scene view, especially if you have a very big scene and a lot of objects in your scene. This method is called Focusing. You can focus on specific objects as we did this cube by double clicking on them in the hierarchy. I will now double click on our main camera and you can see that the scene view has moved so that it's focused on our camera. Now I'll double click on our directional light. And finally, I'll focus in on our cube once more. So that concludes our tutorial on how to navigate through your scene view. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please subscribe. You can also click on this video here if you'd like to follow along with us as we recreate the popular game Doodle Jump. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.